So hello, thanks for tuning in. My name is Hannu. Uh, I'm a technology lawyer at Fondia, working a lot with different gaming companies and uh, due to that I'd like to share a few thoughts on how to protect your game from a legal perspective. Make sure that you own the IP to the game that you are publishing. Uh, I have three points for you here uh, that you should take care of before you go live with the game. Number one is the shareholders agreement. This is one of the most important documents that you should have between the shareholders, the founders that are part of the company. I'm talking of a situation where you might not have an investor yet, so you're making an, a shareholders agreement between the founders. Uh, do this in writing and make sure that there's a clause saying that the IP the founders create will belong to the company. Uh, my second point is that you might have employees working for your company that are not shareholders. Make sure you make a written contract with them and have a similar clause saying that the stuff they create belongs to the company. Uh, typically in a small company you will use subcontractors or consultants that are not employed by you but you use them for a specific purpose such as creating music. Agree on the project in writing and again make sure that you own the stuff that they create for you. In today's world everything is not created from scratch as we all know. So there's a lot of standard components that you might and you probably will use for the game. For these types of situations, you should look into the license agreement governing the component that you are putting into the game. Uh, take for example fonts. You probably are not creating them by yourself. You are downloading them from a website and they are pretty standardized. But be careful with the license governing the font that you use. There are typically restrictions on how you can use it. Uh, I'll give you an example of if you are going for iOS, the license might be for one platform only. And then you're going for Android later, you might not be able to use it with the same license. So be careful with that. You should make sure that you are not stepping on someone else's toes. Although if you have taken careful consideration of the agreements you've done, the standard software you have taken and used in, in the game, there might be situations where your game infringes on someone else's IP rights. Uh, I have an example on trademarks. Uh, you pick up a nice name for the game, you put it on App Store and then there's another developer who has already used that name. They might have the trademark in the register, but not the game online. Most of the developers, they remember to Google. They remember to go to App Store and Google Play and search if there are similar titles. That's a very good start. But in addition to this, I recommend that you should check the open public databases. Check the name if there is something similar to that and do this before you publish the game. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, next time we're going to have a look at how to draft a proper privacy policy for your game. So stay tuned. Thank you.